It's another face-off video, this time to celebrate the start of the Euros football tournament. We are doing a face-off between the two first teams that are playing in the Euros tonight, which is Italy and Turkey. First game. So, which one's going to win? Keep on watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, to celebrate the start of the Euros football tournament, we're going to do a face-off. Now, I had massive plans for the Euros in terms of the beer themes I was going to do. I was going to buy a beer from every single nation and uh, and drink them on the, on the channel and review them, see what they're like. But you know, you don't know how difficult it is to get a beer by from North Macedonia. It's almost impossible. There's a lot of other countries that was quite difficult. Obviously, Brexit has thrown a span in the works, and a lot of these sort of beers that you could get quite easily before from the likes of beers in Europe, you can't get them anymore. So because I was about half a dozen different countries short, I just thought I would take some select games and then see where we get to in the tournament. If like some of the big hitters I can get beers for are in the you know in the last sixteen, um, then we'll do a we'll do a proper game by game um, face off and see see whether it, the beer is as good as a football team. But obviously the Euros have started. We're in Euro fever. I hope that there was going to be people searching YouTube for the Euros. Uh, but we're going to get some beers. And I've wanted to pick two beers that are from countries that are, you know, a little bit more obscure in terms of what you would traditionally want. On this side, we've got the Italian beer. Now, this is a Menabrea. It's a beer of Blonda. Let me put that closer to the, to the uh, camera. So this is a premium lager, 4.8% Italian lager. Um, and this is available in in uh, Morrison's. Uh, I think it was just two pound forty or something like that. It's six hundred and sixty mils. So it's a big. You get plenty of beer for your money. But I've never tried this before. I'm used to your Peronis and your beer and Marattis, but I've not had this one. So I thought I'd try this one. And then in terms of Turkey, the biggest brand really is Efes. Uh, but you know Efes P Pilsner, I think is is quite readily available. But I managed to pick up this one. This is an Efes Draft now. This is coming in at 5% in this sort of funny stubby like bottle, but it's still a big bottle, 50 CL bottle. Um, so that's representing Turkey today. Never had that beer before. Um, this one was in Home and Bargains of all places. I think it was about £1.30. So quite a bit, a bit of difference in price. I mean, it's a bit smaller. So as comparable as you're probably going to get. But let's see what, what they're like. Let's crack them both open, put them in a glass, and then we'll do the normal sort of... Uh, review basically so the first one will be i'm going to do this one because the fa's uh turkey are are the home nation i mean obviously they're not playing i don't know i think i don't even know where they're playing but but they're they're the sort of the home nation so yep beer in a glass it looks pretty much like a lager got lots of bubbles there very light colored sort of two fingers of white head don't know if that will be how long that will be sticking around but let's stick that one there. I mean, lagers, you know, they look like lagers, unless it's something a bit different. And then, then we'll get this, uh, the Italian one out. Yeah, I mean, beer in a glass, that's it. it's probably, it's almost so it's even lighter. Again, lots of bubbles on there, very light and clear. Again, two fingers of, of pretty much white, soapy head. So comparing them together there, I'd say they pretty look look pretty similar, really. Uh, let's see what the aromas are like. First, we'll take the Turkish one. Yeah, malty. Smells like lager. There's nothing really unusual, just a malty sort of smell. And let's take the, uh, the Italian one. Yeah, again, malty. Maybe a little bit more sort of citrus. And it's a bit lighter in terms of its aroma. Both smell pretty much like a standard lager. Let's see what it tastes like. We're going to go first with the, with the Efes. That is remarkably nice, actually. It's really smooth. There's no sort of funny taste. Sometimes these these beers that are from different places, certainly home and bargains, I'm not sure how they even store them, but sometimes you get a bit of that sort of metallic taste from the from the bottle top, but it tastes pretty clean. There's a nice maltiness, but it's not overly malty. I 
it's a nice lager. It's got a little bit more body than your sort of normal lager, but it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good in taste. Now let's uh, we'll just quickly top this one up. Let's try the uh, the Italian Menabrea. Now this is you know it's, it looks like a more premium product. So let's see if it tastes like it. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, I mean that. It's less malty and got a little bit more citrus and sweetness in it. That's a really good lager. I mean, if you like Peroni, for example, I mean, it's an obvious sort of comparison, but it's it's like a Peroni, but with a little bit more Yeah, it's got a little a bit more malty sweetness, which I really like in a in a in a in a, in a lager. Obviously it's a it's a blonde beer of beyond a blonde premium lager, but yeah, I mean without doubt. Italy wins um, and I will be putting a I'll, I'll be doing a little sort of um, my predictions and we'll get these videos out before obviously the game um, so I will predict that Italy will probably win this match as well they're quite defensive though so I'm not going to expect to be a high scoring game I reckon 1-0 Italy for the game and in terms of the beers Italy definitely wins but the, there's nothing wrong with the FS one. It's a, you know it's a pretty good beer considering it's pretty cheap. Um, you get a, you get you know half a liter of, of beer there. It's soft and smooth, but it it doesn't quite have that sort of premium taste that the uh, that the Mena Brea has. That is a really good beer. If you like lager and you like your pronies, you like premium lager, you want a good quality lager, that is a really good buy. Um, I would say that's almost up there with one of my favourite lagers you can buy in a supermarket. Uh, I mean, it's not; these aren't craft beers, so don't get me wrong. But that's pretty good value for that. It's it's so smooth and it's got a nice sort of subtleness of citrus. Um, got the maltiness, but nothing too malty. It's nice and dry. It's really easy to drink. It's a cracking beer. So I'm not going to individually score all these with value for money and all that sort of stuff. I'm just going to give you a winner. And this is definitely the winner of the uh, the Italy versus Turkey. Maybe there's a better Turkish beer. I'm interested to know. If you think there's a better Turkish beer that I should have had, let me know because because there are a couple of FS that you can get available easily. Um, and in terms of la, uh, Italian ones, there was a Peroni, which was a, a premium, a multi-premium, which was in a funny sort of bottle. I, I, I might, if, if Italy continue on and, I, and, and we do more there, I'm going to probably get that one to do. But that, that looked pretty good as well. But this is a lovely beer. I'm really glad I've tried this one for the first time. So there's my uh, first Euro-themed beer review. Hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of these beers, if you've had them before. And if you uh, if you want to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. Really helps. As I say we're going to do lots of uh, we're going to do quite a few different themed um, football themed uh, beer reviews. As much as I can get hold of the beers, we'll review them. So. Good luck for um, any all the home nations. Um, if you're watching this in another part of Europe, then good luck to your team. Um, obviously, I'm an England supporter. I I don't really have any expectations in terms of how England are going to do, um, but I'm looking forward to the matches. And come on, come on, England! Football's coming home. See you in the next video, and don't forget, keep on rocking.